Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday, June 16th, and today our lesson is learning from a king's mistake. But before we begin, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for taking care of us today. And as we continue on this morning and we look for you, we ask that we find you in a special way. In your name we pray. Scripture points out that the messengers were interested in the miraculous recovery of King Hezekiah. However, Hezekiah seems to have been silent about his healing experience. He didn't emphasize the things that would have opened the hearts of these inquiring ambassadors to the knowledge of the true God. The contrast between his gratitude for being healed in chapter 38 and his silence about it in chapter 39 is striking. God left him to test him. This state visit was a most significant occasion, yet there is no record of Hezekiah seeking special guidance about it in prayer from prophets or from priests, nor did God intervene. Alone, out of the public eye, with no consultation with spirit, spiritual advisors, Hezekiah apparently let the work of God in his life and in the life of his, the nation recede from his mind. The intent of historian in 2 Chronicles 32-31 may have been to show how easily God's blessing can be taken for granted and how prone to the recipients of His mercy are to becoming self-sufficient. Below are some lessons about faithfulness and home life that can be gleaned from the experience of Hezekiah. What others can think of you. Every visit to the homes of Christians is an opportunity for people to meet followers of Christ. Few visitors are likely to open conversation about spiritual things. Christians must find ways that are sensitive and appropriate to the occasion to share the good news. Christians are not called to show off their material prosperity or accomplishments. Christians are not called to show off the material prosperity or accomplishments. Though they may recognize these as blessings from God, they are called to declare praises of Him who called you out of darkness into His wonderful light, or to use Hezekiah's experience as a symbol to declare that they were dying but Christ has healed them. They were dead in sin, and Christ resurrected them and seated them in heavenly places. Ephesians 2, 4 through 6. Today the question is, in what ways are you able to use your home to witness to others? How could you share your faith in Christ more forthrightly with visitors to your home? Please answer in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. As always, make sure you hit that like button and have an awesome day. God bless you.